We just finished three great shows with Moto Men here at the Peterson. What a great weekend this has been. But before we go, we got to talk about the car. And that's right, behind me is the 2015 all new Ford Mustang. I'm really happy to tell you about it because I tell you what, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears have been put into this. Let me talk a little bit about the design before we get to the greasy bits. I think uh, one of the things everybody's noticing is how much lower the car is, and it is. Up in the front, we've lowered it 30 mil. The, actually, the roof is lowered 30, and it's down 70 mils in the rear. And, and that was done not only to give it a great low profile, but actually to accentuate the fact the car got wider. So we're 40 mil wider. Actually, the rear track is 70 mils wider. And not only do the wheels fill the wells, but now we actually have the ability to put on a little bit wider rubber. And uh, you're gonna see that in some of the versions, including ones like this, where we've got the performance pack. Um, not only does that make the car look better, but it's actually better for aerodynamics. And that's one of the reasons that we went with the fastback. So we've got a lower front, we've got the fastback, so we've got even better aerodynamics, including how we manage all the wind underneath the car. And you, obviously the, the biggest area you'll see that is when you go to the rear, you'll see the rear diffuser, but we've actually got a lot of wind management that goes on. We actually have created a bit of an air dam in the front. So we wanted that punch in the face look that you get with Mustangs. Um, but actually, because it's closed off nicely, it actually uses a cone of air to push air around the car and underneath the car. And uh, you'll see that when, when we get to the, uh, the drag coefficient numbers. A lot of little details like moving the mirrors to the side on the doors, not only does that help the drag, but obviously it's going to help see around the A-pillars. But, you know, let's talk about some of the, uh, some of the greasy bits now, because, you know, motor, most important. Um, we're going to three engines now. We've got, uh, we're going to start off with the six the 3.7 liter like we had. Um, we haven't announced numbers, but it'll be uh, at least 300 horsepower. We also have the, uh, the 5.0 coming back. And what I'm really happy about is we took a lot of learnings from the Boss 302 and we baked that in. Again, we haven't uh, announced numbers, but uh, let's put it this way. It's gonna be north of where we already were at 420. Well, the GT with the performance pack, our goal was to beat the Boss 302. Take a look at the rotors, 15 inches. These things are massive, great at dissipating the heat. We've got six piston calipers. It's not only on, on this performance pack, but you're gonna see the brakes improve on all versions of the car. Really, really proud of that. One of the reasons we were able to do that up front is we went to a double ball joint front suspension, um, which not only, again, is it good for being able to package such large brakes, but it also gives you better anti-dive and anti-squat properties. I tell you what, what's really nice, rear independent suspension. Yes, we finally did it. And I tell you what, we that's had a, a Mustang we're looking at, right? We had a lot of debate about it because you know, at the end of the day, and take a look at the boss with a live rear, which gives you, you know, um, a lot of good properties. Uh, we knew that the team and the team knows the suspension really well, but we finally decided to go. And actually, I tell you what, we're really happy with the end result. But let me just go back and talk about the engine because I think the biggest news is we're putting a, an EcoBoost in, a 2.3 liter. Um, that's going to put out at least 310 horsepower and it is truly the end solution. The torque numbers you're going to get, you're going to love. And, it, it, and what I also love is the fact you get that torque at a really low uh, 1500 RPM is where you hit max torque. So I don't care where you tip in, you're going to have that instant on power. So the torque on the four cylinders, that could be more or less than the V6? It's going to be more than the V6. So it's, it's a great complement in the lineup. So we're going to start with the V6, then we're going to move up to the EcoBoost, and then of course the, the five liter is gonna to top it all off. Let me, let's come around to the driver's side. And I tell you what, this is a great story because you know we've got the looks on the outside, we've got the capability built in and out, but now you're gonna have a driving environment that we're really excited about. We've taken a lot of feedback from you know the many Mustang owners who again, they're terrific because they're not shy and if they love something, they tell you about it and if they don't like something. So we've taken all those learnings and we built it in. So for example, the, the space up front is actually bigger than it has been before. The IP is 30% smaller. And we were able to do that through a lot of innovative uh, pieces. So for example, the glove compartment on the passenger side actually has an airbag built in. You have knee airbags were uh, right behind the, the front steering wheel. The so glove that compartment has an airbag or has is it an above airbag. the glove compartment? Nope, it's built into the door of the airbag, of the glove compartment. Really great innovation that lets us actually push the whole instrument panel further up and make it smaller so you get more passenger uh, compartment. The seat's going to actually have more travel. The steering wheel, which is actually a little bit smaller than before, actually has um, will uh, move in and out 40 mils and has a greater uh, range of rake when you move it up and down. 
When you combine that with what we've done on the center console, we actually moved the cup holders further away from the driver so that um, it's going to be actually easier to shift. The shifter is closer to the driver. And so when you put that together with these fantastic seats that really hold you in place, when it's leather, they're all heated and cooled. And then we've got a great grippy cloth on the GT base. And of course, Recaro's are available across the line. Even in the V6 and the four-cylinder? On the, on the four-cylinder, not on the V6. Mm -hmm. So when you put that all together, you've got these great seats. You've got this super adjustable uh, steering wheel that's going to feel fantastic in your hands. You've got a shifter that's closer. It actually shifts, shorter shifts. They're more positive in terms of the gear that you're finding. Um, and the, uh, when, you, when you feel it, it's going to feel you know, spot on. It just clicks right in place. Feels fantastic. And in fact, if you flip to the uh, and go automatic and get the six speed automatic, um, it now has paddle shifter standard and it rev matches on the downshift. So we're going to have push button start standard on all the cars. And again, you get keyless entry with that as well. So you're never going to be pulling out a key in a Mustang. On top of that, got you get that. some old Jaguar type toggle switches in there. Yeah. And uh, we actually took that inspiration from the Ford GT. And what that's all about is the whole bank is set up for you to be able to, to change some of the settings, starting with drive mode. So drive modes is going to be a new feature where the car will optimize itself, whether you're in normal driving, whether you're on the track, uh, or whether you're in clement weather, including rain or, rain or snow. And you can hit that button. What's cool about it is it'll change the settings on the steering effort. It'll change the transmission shift schedule. Um, but you can, and the electronic stability control. But what you can also do then with a flick of the switch is override any one of those. And you don't have to dig into the menu and the touch screen. You'll be able to just to say, hey, you know what? I want to be in uh, track mode, but I actually want the steering to be a little bit lighter. No problem. You flip a switch and you can change that. The same thing on the stability control. You want to turn it off or, or uh, change the setting compared to what the, the standard mode would be. It's easy to do. It's all right there at your fingertips. And here's an odd question. Are you going to bring back the glass roof or are you going to do a full-on sunroof? Uh, we will not have a glass roof. How dare you? To start. That's, that's just true. This and is so true. what about a sunroof or a sunshine we will, roof? We will not have a sunroof to, to, to start. So it's either a hard, roof. you're doing the British thing. It's either a hard, hard top, top or, or a you get a convertible. You got it. If you have a convertible uh, and you hit the key fob, you know, your center console will lock as well as your glove compartment. So again, just a lot of good suggestions that came in from Mustang fans. They've all been baked into the way that the new car works. You're going to love it. How many years has it taken you to come up with all these ideas to put into this car? <laughs> well, I tell you what, we've been, we've been keeping track. I mean, there's a lot of things that we wanted to, as I said, keep the same, and there's a lot of things we wanted to change. I keep a running list. The best part is we've got Mustang people um, who will go out to shows, who talk to customers all the time, all the engineers on the team. So it's great when I bring these sorts of lists back and we talk about what we're going to do, um, I will tell you that usually 90% of the stuff matches of all the things that we wanted to do as a team and make sure that we have that built into the new car. And I think people will see that uh, and see that thoughtfulness from people who've been driving the car for years. Okay, so here's the script. For a new Moto Man film every week, click subscribe. And to get a sneak peek of what's coming up on the show, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, Moto Man TV, all one word.